The dramatic growth and development of today's artificial intelligence, unfortunately, is not sustainable. The size of the AI models gets extremely larger, and the energy needed for training and using the AI increases exponentially. In fact, the experts predict that the energy demand in computing will reach the global energy production limit. So how do we solve this problem? Well, the conventional approach to increase the energy efficiency in computing is by improving the individual devices and components of the computer. However, these approaches are unlikely to provide the exponential improvements needed to support the growth of AI. A more fundamental shift in the way we do computing is necessary. And that is why I'm interested in the brain. The most powerful and efficient computing unit ever exists. To compare the brain with a commercial AI, here's GPT-4, a model that powers ChatGPT. It has 1.76 trillion parameters in its model, meaning that there are 1.76 trillion different settings to adjust by computing. As a result, they consume 100 megawatt of power. That is more than the power used by the whole city of Santa Monica. How about a brain? Let's say we have a brain of a genius like Sir Isaac Newton. His brain has 600 trillion synapses, yet consumes only 20 watt of power less than the LED light bulb. So what makes brains so special? A brain consists of the fundamental building blocks, including neurons and the synapses. And the key is that they learn on their own without any help from the central processors, but only based on their local interactions. And that locality is the key. In our lab, we developed an electrical device named Sinster, which mimics the behavior of a synapse. It can learn and memorize the local interactions of the nearby circuits, which makes it possible to learn like a synapse and uses much less energy, just like a brain. The chip on the right is what I fabricated in the NanoLab clean room facility and is used for the real experiments like autonomous driving of drones. With this chip, the drone was able to dodge obstacles and reach the target destination with the power less than one millionth of the software-based AI. We also plan to use this chip for the extreme environments like outer space, where the network connection and energy resource are highly limited. We look forward that in the future, we could utilize the AI with a coin cell. Thank you.